My 17-step program will change your life. But don't take it from me. Let's hear from one of my berserkers. You see, I used to live in the shadows of my own regret until I've decided to go ape shit and reclaim my powers through the art of brutal combat. Two axes are better than one. You see, one of the most fundamental things that I've learned in this program is to get that booty. Get what you need to live your best life and raid other villages to grow your own. I hope you guys enjoyed that quick skit. Keep in mind that you will be able to catch me on the actual commercial in which, by the way, you can check it out after watching this video by clicking the card link up at the top or at the end of the video. As always, a big thank you to Ubisoft for sponsoring this video. And in case you guys are still wondering what this video is about, yes, we will be playing some Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Please keep in mind that this build of the game is a work in progress. For more information on Assassin's Creed Valhalla, click the first link in the description. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is a dark age open world that takes place during England's ninth century. Within this open world, we're also gonna have the luxury to explore Norway, the broken kingdoms of England, myth worlds, and yes, even a trip to America. Within this game, you have dual wielding weapons and visceral combat in which you'll be able to use against the most varied set of enemies in Assassin's Creed history. Assaults allow you to group up with your Viking crew and take over huge fortresses within this world. Now, within these assaults, you do have different choices on how to approach them and the outcome will actually have an effect on your story. And last but not least, you have settlements, which will be upgradable and will be your main base when playing this game. Assassin's Creed Valhalla will be available for purchase November 10th of this year, 2020. For those of you that want more information on this new Assassin's Creed game, click the link down in the description. It should be the first link down there. And without further ado, let's do this. We've been teleported. Uh, hey, to a point in time, hello there, uh, young lady. We've been teleported to a point in time during the story that we are not very well aware of, considering that this is a preview build. But I'm happy to announce that we're going to be doing some main missions in this episode. And if you guys would like to see some side quests and other stuff like that, um, and possibly future episodes, just let me know in the comments. And if you enjoy this video, let me know. Good day. Right now, we have the Alliance map, and we've got to speak to this young lady here. Which reminds Word me of, of our Cassandra. Growing settlement has reached outside ears, so have a look around. You may see a few new faces. Okay, show me the alliance I want map. Want to see the alliance map? If you want your settlement to thrive in England, your clan must forge alliances, pledge to a territory to confirm your interest in an alliance. As pledges are completed and allies are made, other territories will be made available. All right, so I want to say we've got to do this one. Tell me more about Leather Chestershire. I should like to join Sigurd soon. He traveled to a town called Repton to meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current king of Mercia with the hope of installing a king of their own. Hmm. A bold endeavor. I should be there to help however I can. I think you should. Okay, I pledge. Let's do this. All right, this is cool. So it's kind of like Megan allies and taking over territories. <laughs> All right, I the sons of away. Ragnar. Good. I will send word to Sigurd and the Ragnarsons, pledging your assistance. If I were you, I would go by ship. Repton is quite a distance north on the River Trent. If I steal anything, please do not be alarmed. I am friendly. I will return it back. Actually, no, I won't. Pretty intimidating, if you ask me, okay? All right, so now that we're here, we're going to go ahead and take command. And I think we can also fish, which is probably something we can try later on. Look how many fish there are. They're literally jumping all over the place. I went to the ocean the other day. Spent there like probably six hours. Caught like three fish. Times are tough, man. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and lift our sails. And we should be on our way. So right now, the Sons of Ragnar, we got to find and speak to Sigurd. He's traveled to the northwest to a town called Repton. So as we approach our destination, I'm happy to say that I've been jamming to some uh, Viking music, if you will. You can actually change the songs with the left on the D-pad. And you can request a new song 
and then you'll have your crew start singing something else or you can press rb and you can switch to stories or you can just stop the song all right so we are arriving at our destination this uh the climate here seems to be a little bit colder so we're gonna use our raven first i'm gonna dock the ship hold on all right, so I think we've arrived. I'm going to dock the ship first. Yes. All right. We've got our Raven. We're going to go ahead and boost him up. And I think he's going to tell us where this guy might be at. Hold on. Okay, so it's probably going to be that church. All right, we've arrived. At a new location by the name of Repton. I hope I'm saying that right. Repton? Repton? I don't know. But we're here. Who stands before Ivar Ragnarsson? Are you Sigurd Drenger? Igor! Eivor. If you keep that up, I'll stay in the floors. The place could use some color. <laughs> Who are they? All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Got feisty. Pitchfork. From this rabid little one. Was a time when you met and slew your enemy on the field before they could dream of things like sending spies oh bro he was burning him all along not my thing i figured this guy's nuts i love them whipped weeping and reeking of piss hey <laughs> Good boy. You're free, Saxon piggy, to run amok through the mercy and fields. Bro, who's this raging lunatic? I would have let him down easy. <laughs> Follow me. I'll give you the tour. All right. Well, what do you call this place? I call it the shithole. To the Mercians, it is Repton. Their most revered kings are buried below the church. Imagine they're weeping when we drove them out. You planted your knife deep into the heart of this kingdom. That is right. You've got a number of Saxon nobles lined up with their lips puckered, ready to kiss our asses. The only holdout is King Burgred and his war thane, Leofrid. But my brother is brewing a plan to deal with them. I take it that's where we'll find my brother. Right. Talkers they are, Uba and Sigurd. Might want to dig the wax from your ears. Hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and follow this dude. Don't play me for a fool, Abba. This is going to be an interesting mission here. I'm not going anywhere, Bakrat. You have the king on his heels because of me, because of my men. For which you were paid. But that price does not change because you have caught a whiff of our hex silver hoard. You forget I am a sellsword. I ask what I please, and I take what I'm owed. If I wanted to hear you talk shit, I'd gouge out your tongue and shove it up your ass. Now fuck off. <laughs> Haggling over silver is a bad look for the son of Ragnar Lodbrok. But worry not, Uba. I have the warriors you need. This is one of them. My worries have vanished. Eivor, wolf kissed. You have come at just the right time. Uba and Ivar here are hunting a king. And when we've caught him, 
We mean to crown another. Our dear Thane Shellwolf here. It's not a role I begged for, but it's what Mercia needs just now. A man to fairly rule both Saxons and Danes. Are you fit to rule a kingdom? Viking rule through a Saxon king. Current king will warn your head. Do you have what it takes to be king? One day, I hope. As it stands, we at least have an understanding. The king has refused our offers of peace. Jailwolf means to change that. We'll be a new king for a new England. For now, Burgred is holed up in his fortress at Tamworth. Another shithole. Only further south. We've held a siege there for weeks to no effect. So, no more knocking. Now we batter the gate to splinters. If we take Tamworth, remove Burgred and crown Shellwolf, come morning the Shire is ours. And Mercia soon after. Yes. Remove. I cannot stress that enough. Bugred is not to be harmed. My legitimacy as king hangs on this one simple fact. Uh, you rob all the joy from war, Saxon. Not every victory needs to be marked by the slaughter of a king. Ah, but it is much Wise. better. Wise. His request is fair, Ivar, and we will honor it. Can we trust him? His approach is smart. Hmm. Can we trust him? Cheerwolf betrayed his present king. Maybe tomorrow he betrays us too. Why trust him? How can I answer that with any hope that you'd believe me? I only want what is best for the people of Mercia. And I want what's best for my son. In Burgred's Mercia, where Danes and Saxons murder one another daily, it's not possible. This is a good plan, brother. I'm ready for the coming fight. Agreed. Yet remember this. Whatever you stand to gain here, so do we. An alliance between my clan and Mercia's crown. See this man installed on his throne and you will have it. I swear. Deal then. Let's do this. The bold sons of Ragnar bellow to sound the spear din and the thunder of shields. So let fall the arrow storm. The battle begins. Ah! You never said this one was a poet. <laughs> I need to piss. <laughs> we have a forward camp just north of Tamworth. Will you go with us? Lead the way. Take in the sights of Repton if you like. We will be at the docks when you are ready to go. I'm glad you and your brother have come. If only to bring some measure of calm. Ease yourself, Cheerwolf. We all stand to benefit, and you'll be remembered for this for years to come. For all the wrong reasons, I fear. Interesting. Alright, so. The Kingmaker's Saga. This is an arc that's been started. This village is absolutely beautiful. Quite a lot to see here. What a lovely little town we got going on here. Uh, we're going to go straight to the docks and get it started. It is about 200 meters away, so it's relatively close. There we go. I want to say it's down this way. Exactly where we came from. I love the scenery, dude. Freaking awesome. Sail southeast. Bring the men to the gates of Tamworth. We'll flood the fields. And Ulrich shall weep at the sight of what the future holds for this kingdom. All right, we're here. Let's get it. Let's get this party started. Eivor, is your axe sharpened? I'm ready for the spear then. And the thunder of shields. Yes. It's good to have you with us. To fight beside such legends is an honor. I've only heard tales of your conquests. Now I get to live them. We'll weave our sagas together. Thread upon thread. Come on, boy. We'll forge a man from your softness. Hammered on the anvil of he war. Does not need to fight to be Move. a. Move! Move! Calm, Ivar. The fight's not here. Aye. The fight is nowhere to be found in this boy. A boy who happens to be Chelwolf's son. Why is he not in his quarters? Our hmm. future king wants a battle hardened heir. Time he proves his worth, don't you think? 
Okay, should be worried about secession already. Can this boy even fight? Can't be an heir if he's dead, Ivar. Can he wield a sword? I've had some training. I only... I don't want to kill anyone. Oh, God. These men are my friends. My countrymen. Relax, little king. They won't call you friend now. You can thank your father for that. Ivar! He comes <laughs> with us. And should anything happen to this little sprout, I will bear the punishment our future king inflicts. He'll want to remove your head. Ha <laughs> ha, you hear that, boy? You die, and I'll have to kill your father, too. Well, I guess that'll teach him. Don't get killed, up, or your father it's dies. Alright, we'll mount his horse. Oh, snap. So we can follow the road. He always finds new ways to humor himself. I'll keep that in mind. And both eyes open. You smell that, Chelbert? The stink of jealousy of our budding friendship, I think. All right, so we're a thousand six hundred and twenty meters well, away. This is quite far. In Repson at all. It's Jail Wolf's way of proving his loyalty. And there's no safer place for a traitor and his son in the middle of a pack of Danes. Safe from who? You hmm. and Ivar seem to have brought this. Oh, I gotta stick with them. Oh, I gotta take the road. They're over there. <laughs> Sorry, boys. I'm taking shortcuts. Safe from who? <laughs> You and Ivar seem to have brought this Shire to hell. All right, so we're just gonna kind of stroll along with them. I don't want to like voice, go past them. You sound different than the brothers. Good ear, Lord. Most in England cannot tell the difference. Not all Danes are Danes. From where do you come, if I may ask? North of the Danelands. A place called Thornburg in Norway. Was this a mass exodus from Norway, then? It was. Norway is now the province of a young king, Harald by name. A boy wise beyond his years. Are you not angry that he has displaced you and so many others? I was, for a time. But our weeks at sea have softened my brow fire. If I am honest, I realize I quite admire King Harald. By words and by weapons, both. He has pacified the country I call home. For the first time in any man's memory, or any scald's song, Norway has one king. Just one. And that is quite a feat. That is impressive, truly. England is half the size of Norway, and yet we have four kings for our four kingdoms. Wow. You see? How could I not be impressed? No, Harald is a good man with grand ideas. I can see that now. I am only six years his junior and have yet to see my first battle. I cannot imagine the skill and cunning he has. Your first battle is coming, young Jailbird. Oh, yeah. From this day on, you may see rapid progress. I'm not sure I want so swift a rise. I think that kid's going to die. I'm just going to call it out. <laughs> he, he did. Gilbert, it is my father who bears the heaviest weight of my anger, not King Harold. My father gifted my birthright to Harold without my consent or knowledge. As easily as if he might hand over a barrel of meat. It was not merely a deception. It was a betrayal of trust. The prick of which still stings me. Be it a blessing or a curse, family is always first. A good line, boy. Were you not an Adeling, I would hire you as my scold. Scold? It sounds something like scop. Our court poets. Is that what you mean? Right again. Fascinating. All right, we're here. Look at these pagan rats. Ravenous, unseemly beasts teeming over holy ground. Have a care, Lord. These pagan rats outnumber us. I can see that, fool. Bro, he's banged up. What do we do about them? I advise we strongly consider their demands, Lord. We won't survive a fight. Is that you, Leofrit? How quickly you recover. I'm beginning to wonder if it is a man or a god beneath all that armor. A man of God stands before you, Eva. Proud and resolute. Hmm. That's Burgred's war thing. 
killed a dozen of our men in an ambush along the River Trent. It was Ivar's axe that stopped him. That is a poor description of a perfect 30-yard toss. Enough jawing, heathens! Speak your peace! We've come for your crown, Lord. With or without your head attached. <laughs> I admire your ambition, Pagan. But what you ask is impossible. No Dane ever has, or ever will, occupy Mercia's sacred throne. How about a Norse? Good thing we have, okay. Hmm. The Ragnarsons are the least of your worries, Burgred. The Raven Clan now sits upon your southern border. <laughs> oh, That's our I've clan. Tales of the Raven Clan. I see their leader Sigurd among you. <laughs> <laughs> and you are Eivor, the one who helped the Danes in Grantabridgeshire, destroyed poor Wigmund. Then you see why you should choose your next words very carefully, for here stand four of us who wield such power. My king, may I suggest a more measured approach to this? I grow weary of this palaver. You have trampled our lands, toppled our monuments. We've given you silver, fed your people. And yet in spite of all this, your encroachment on my kingdom continues. No more. We will die defending what is ours, whatsoever the cost. If you want my crown, Uber Ragnarsson, you must pry it from the hands of my bloodless corpse. Man the walls! Oh my god, this guy's like, man, come on, don't do this shit. Back We're gonna to die. <laughs> Round up the men. We're taking Tamworth tonight. You wanna say that a little louder, bro? <laughs> It's hey, supposed Lord. to be a secret plan. Tell the captain we're ready to march. Ivar and I will round up the men. Do you know your way around a batsman bat? I've seen them in action. I want you at the helm of our. Oh. Strong hey. and agile. Reckless, I'll idiot. be there. As will I. You got a little settlement here already and everything. <laughs> right next door. Oh. Rations are full. Okay. Oh, it's yeah, over, it's man. All, Who are you? I'm with the Ragnarsons. It's time to roll out the battering ram. Birgred wanted to fight. Now we'll give him one. Are you ready to march now? Let's go. Let's go. It's time to capture a kingdom. What are we going to do about him? Jailbert. Something wrong. I He's nervous. I've supped with them. Not two weeks ago, Leofrith showed me how to wield a greatsword. He's a friend. Friendship's end. Often at the point of a spear. He cannot be that cold. Least of all with Leofrith. He is only following orders. When the march begins, find an empty tent and stay there. <laughs> do not think me a coward. I am not afraid of war. I do not want to kill my friends. There's no other way. Fight or hide. It's up to you. Bro, that's cruel. All right, boys. Tamworth Fortress. Hopefully, this is not too hard and I don't get slaughtered and embarrassed. Breach the first gate. Destroy the gate. Okay. <laughs> oh shit. Here we go. Ah! Almost out. To them braces when they throw arrows at us. Here we go. <laughs> oh shit. It's about to snap. Brace, brace. Perfect. Alright. I like that. That's cool. Push through. Oh, shit. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go. <laughs> this is crazy. Push through. Let's go. Oh, snap. Oh, okay. We're already starting. Ooh. 
Okay. Started off with the brutality kills. Sorry, dude. Dude, that throwing axe is insane. Let me help out my squad. I know we can go inside. We can breach the second gate. But I kind of want to have a little bit of action here. We got some rations here, too. <laughs> Sorry, bucko. Look, my squad already breached the gate, so we're good. Oh, man. I wonder if we should do the heavy attack. Let's try some heavy attacks. Ooh. Let's get this guy right here. Oof. Oh, man. Heavy attacks are freaking lethal. You want some of this? Heavy attack. Yo, I got your back, brother. Oh, just freaking slice his fucking arms. Okay, here we go. Yeah, heavy attacks are the way to go, bro. The heavy attacks are awesome. I got you. A4 is here to divide and conquer. This guy is lethal. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, man. You got this. Oh my goodness. Oh fuck. Okay, so once we're locked out, we can just. Here we go. <laughs> Stomp on him. Bro, Amor does not play. Oh my god. You know what? I'm gonna let them do that. I'm gonna climb up here. I'm gonna find my way up and take these guys out. Oh, hello there, guys. Oh, oh. Oh. Come on, heavy attacks. We got this. We got this! Money in the bag, baby! Heavy attacks for the win. Oh, he threw his axe out. Okay, actually, that was me. Hold on. <gasps> Come here, boy. Come here, boy. I'm going to slice and dice you. I don't know his name. What's his name? I can't even read it. Everything's moving too quickly. We got him. Okay, my, my guy just finished his ass off. Oh, hey, re relax there, partner. Assault completed. The Tamworth Fortress. So what happened to the king? I want to see if we sh if we get to see him. It's over, Burkrit. Lay down your weapons and surrender. Oh, there he is. He's inside, like a coward. Okay. Hold on. Here we go. Take three men and search the rear. Hmm. Look around. See what you can find. I'll send for Chael Wolf. Tell him we found a throne. <laughs> so, Odin's sight ah, highlights nearby enemies, quests, objectives, hmm? and wealth. But I did notice we were short one Atheling. Where was the son of our king? Chaelbad was around. Maybe you missed him. Your lies are just like you, Eivor. Big and bold. Okay. 
Got some loot. We got another one over there. Read. What is this? To the Almighty King, we have an agreement that is, if by the time this message arrives, it is still your ass that warms the seat of Mercia's throne. Here is what I know. The Ragnarsons, I hope I said that right, have been speaking with one of your own. Cheowulf is his name. Together, they are devising a plan to overthrow you and install him in your stead. A Norse named Sigurd has arrived and allied with the brothers. An attack is soon to follow. Ready your men. As for your secret haunts, they are safe for now. But keeping them will cost you. A chronicle of payments made. Like a ledger. Hmm. There's a symbol here. A clan emblem, maybe. The brothers should see this. Okay, he's over there. Before I go over there, let me get some of this food. Loot this area up. See what we have here. Oh, there's a key over there. There's also an enemy. <laughs> Your men have any luck? Nothing. You? This. Do you know that symbol? Tona Sigil. It seems she's been dealing with Burgred as well. The wretch. She was the mercenary barking at you in Repton, yes? She's playing both sides of this war. She could have told him anything. Sold him secrets about me, about Repton. Our plans. Why bother with all this pageantry? Fashion a new crown and stick it on your melon. There you have it. You're the new king. That is not how it works. Not in Mercia. Do we really need Burgred? Any idea where Burgred's gone? Tana is our lead. Let's go. You were one of Burgred's stains. He must have some sense of where he'd be. Burgred had his secret haunts, but he never told me of them. Kept me quite in the dark. For good reason, I suppose. Tana is our only lead. We talk to her. Find out what she knows. I would sooner launch my face into my axe than face her. That might improve her impression of you. We have the same father, Eivor. But his mother was a sow. Meet us at Tono's camp when you're finished <laughs> here. And bring your patience. And your axe! Eivor, a word, if you would. Go, I'll catch up. I will join the brothers, Eivor. Meet us at Tonus. My son told me what happened earlier, with Ivar pressuring him to fight. He said you intervened. You would be mourning your son if I hadn't. <laughs> He's not a fighter. No, but he should be. By trial or by training. He'll come around in time. But keep him from Ivar if you can. He's the furthest thing from a mentor. Quest completed. We just got two skill points, boys. Now we have skill points. Open the skill menu to apply skill points. We do have... What is this? Can we break that or... Oh! Very nice. Interesting. So there's a key in here. Alright, let's see if we can go inside this. Here we go. So we've got two... Cr oh, actually, we got food. And then we've got collect the key. Which could be used for God knows what. Let's see. Unlock the... Oh, the key's for this door. Okay. And here's the chest. A flower. <laughs> Iron ore, leather, okay, more loot. Gear upgrade. Sufficient crafting materials to upgrade a gear piece. 
Very nice. Let's see if there's anything extra in this part of town. You know what? Let's synchronize ourselves. It's going to be up there. Let me loot this. Perfect. Moldy cheese. That's disgusting. <laughs> it looks rotten as hell. Perfect. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, I think we're going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little walkthrough that we did. A big thanks to the team over at Ubisoft for sponsoring this video. And don't forget, if you guys want more information about the new Assassin's Creed Valhalla, click the link down in the description below. It's got all the info you need. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you later.